Hey there everybody, Chris Renshaw here with another unboxing for you guys. I know I've been doing a lot of these recently. And today I have D&D &D Dice Masters. This is for WizKids. This is the two-player starter set. The first D&D &D Dice Master set. Battle for Faerun. Faerun. Something like that. So I've got the... I've got the starter set, and I've got a couple of booster packs. Booster packs here, and we're going to take it up, look at the cards, and as we go, I'll talk about what I think, and, and as someone that's played the Marvel Dice Masters game, what I think about some of the cards that are offered here. So let's flip over here to the view cam, and let's see. One thing about Dice Masters is that I don't have to worry about the box at all because you can't really store the, the stuff in here, at least especially when you talk about these boosters. So I'll leave that there for reference. Move these off to the side for now. So before we get into the dice, let's talk about what you always get. I've opened up both the Uncanny X-Men and the uh, Avengers vs. X-Men sets. So of course you get your rule book. It's got everything you need to know in here. Also, one of the cool things about this is they have your play mat here in the middle of the book. This shows you all the different zones. If you've ever played Dice Masters, it's kind of like magic where you summon creatures, use those creatures to take down your enemy's life points. Uh, so think of it like magic meets couriers if you've ever played couriers. So this just illustrates some of the different zones that are in the game. A little bit easier so we're gonna throw we'll, th we'll throw that stuff over the side uh let's see what else have we got in here all right uh gel pack and then two of the worst dice bags you will ever see i mean these are just paper this is like the same kind of paper it feels waxy but it feels like the paper that you would put your groceries in it's just it's it, whatever it makes the game cheap but i highly recommend anyone go out and get you some nice quality dice bags you don't have to spend a bunch of money like three dollars you don't have to get the whiz kids ones that are like that have like the marvel superheroes on stuff but get a nice dice bag because these these are not then that's not going to cut it and then you got your cards and your dice so let's dump out all the dice here. There we go. So there's all the dice. Take that away. So do 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 do. You get two dice of all the different heroes that it comes with. Looks like just like all the other starter sets. I'm just kind of pairing them up so it's easier to find them. So there's that. Then you've got all your sidekick die. These are kind of like minions, basic or basic minions that you can just summon until you can get. Um, it's kind of like your mana, almost. So that's that, that's all these die. Uh, I've already got tons of these between the other two starter sets, but you'll you'll get these at first. In fact, this is what your dice bag starts with is just these. Um, oh, half of these since this is for two player. You start with like half of these. And then you'll use these to summon these creatures. So there's that. These dice, you get basic action dice. Or these are basic action dice as well. They're in different colors. See, we got pink, uh, orange, and brown, and purple, which correspond to these different color cards that are here on the back as we get into the cards. So, like I said, orange, purple, pink, brown. The way these work is you get these basic action cards, which we can start with those. Uh, this is, all right, there we go. Oh, cool. The basic action cards are spells here. That's awesome. So, I, as, as someone that's playing d and I'm hoping that this will be some familiar. So, first card on this side, this is your list of common, uncommon, Rare and super rare cards, all the cards that are available here in the set. It's a nice little checklist you can use to keep track of everything. And then these are your basic action cards. The way this works is you'll pick one of these, pair it up with a color, 
And then you'll take all that color die and set it on that card. So I know brown dice go with this card because that card's on the brown dice card. Or I can make it pink and slide it over to the pink dice. So let's see. What spells do we have here? Uh, Stinking Cloud. Deal a damage to all characters. Level one characters cannibal. That's that's pretty good. Resurrection. Roll a die from your used pile. Uh, global. Once per turn, you may pay shield energy to draw a die from your bag. Place in your prep area. That's pretty good. All right. Let's see. I will zoom in here so that you guys can see a little bit better. All right, so it looks like I can't focus any more than that. But here, you've got your resurrection card. Where did I start with? Stinking Cloud. So Stinking Cloud, Polymorph. Uh, swap a field of character with a non-NPC character from that player's used pile. Spin the character. Oh, wow. I'm really liking these action cards a lot better than the ones... And the artwork is amazing on them. The, I like these cards already so much more than the Marvel sets I've seen. Just the artwork on them is great. As you can see them here. I wish I had my other sets so I could compare. But uh, there's Magic Missile. Two damage to target create. A lot of these are a lot more direct damage, which I'm liking. Uh, of course, you got your Fireball. Two damage each player, each character. Move a character from the field to its prep area. Okay. Move character of any level. So this is how you could use this to uh, get rid of a character out the field, or maybe you want to get one of yours up to something else. Dimension door. One target character you control cannot be blocked. That's pretty sweet. Cone of cold. One damage to one. All right. That's This is just like in D&D. One damage to one character, two damage to a second character, three damage to a third character. That's pretty awesome. That's that's a pretty legit card right there. Charm, draw three dice while any PCs you draw. Place the other dice in your used pile. And then each blessing, each of your characters gets plus one attack and plus one defense. So that's, I'm already, in, I don't even have to open any of these uh, a card, these other cards, because I am just impressed by these cards here by themselves, just the basic attack card. I'm a, the artwork is splendid. They just feel they feel a lot sturdier than the other uh, basic attack cards. The abilities on them just seem so much better. So that's pretty slick. So we'll get rid of these and move to the real heart of the cards, if you will. Oh, I should have saved that for the D&D one or the, the Yu-Gi-Oh one. All right, so we got th we got vampires of all different types. Uh, spin down, spin down, engage foes. First time each turn, attacking vampire damage gain to life, and the first time each turn, an attacking character damages a character gain a life. So that's cool. You can gain life there. Here, I'll, there we go. Let's see. Regenerate. This is a troll. Knock out an opposing enraged characters and deal one damage to an opponent. First time a troll regenerates, gain two life. I like that. And then regenerate, reroll when knocked out. That's pretty cool. And we've got human paladin. Human Paladin, uh, experience. They all have the experience keyword, which is once per turn, gain an attack defense token when you knock out a monster. Okay, so it's like a player character leveling up. So, once per turn. Okay, when active, you take no damage from your opponents when fielded effects. That's pretty legit. Once per turn. Oh, that's the other one. Uh, reduce the damage you take from your character's ability by one. When fielded, your paladins and NPCs take no damage for the rest of the turn. That's awesome. And we got some halfling thieves. They also have experience. 
When assigned to attack, your opponent moves a die from his prep area to his used pile. Wow. When assigned to attack, you may knock out its stars. When assigned to attack, you may knock out opposing adventurer before your opponent moves the die. When fielded, your opponent draws two dice. This triggers no effects. You choose whether to place each die either back in the bag or in the used pile. So if someone draws two sidekick die, you'd want them back in the bag. Experience. Uh, then when fielded, draw a die. If it's an NPC, place it in your used pile. If not, roll it. I wonder if sidekick die are NPCs in this one. Probably are. I wish I hadn't thrown the rule book over there. So also you can see the artwork still uh, on these. It's still pretty sweet. Then, of course, this is what's on the starter set. You got your green dragon. So, green dragon. It looks like dragons have the ability of a breath weapon. So that makes sense. Uh, pay two to deal two damage to your opponent and all of his creatures. So, first one is spin down each character damage down to breath weapons by a level. So it's like a D experience, if you will. All right, so Green Dragon, Master Dragon, Green Dragon, Apprentice Dragon, Breath Whip just has the Breath Weapon. And then the Minion Dragon just has a Breath Weapon of one. Ooh, Gelatinous Cube. Whenever a character is knocked out during the attack step, you may ha pay a shield to have it at capture it. This capture lasts until it's used again. It may block any number of NPCs. Let's see, this has the same one... But, oh, it has... Oh, that's the block any number of NPCs. This one is just when fielded, capture an opposing NPC. This capture lasts until you field another gelatinous cube. That's cool. Ooh, we got another dragon. Do we have any other dragons? All right, so no other dragons. So starter set comes with the green dragon, and it comes with the blue dragon. So blue dragon, breath weapon three. Awesome. Uh, Prentice, blue Prentice Dragon, Breath Weapon 1. While active, whenever you use an action die ability, choose an opposing character. That character can't block this turn. Then Minion Dragon, Pay 2. Okay, so it's just got the Breath 2. And then finally, in the starter set, we have the Beholder. This is the first die assigned to attack this turn. You may immediately use each of the basic attack dice abilities without burst once as if you had you rolled those dice. Oh, wow. That's ridiculous. So you can use all the basic die abilities as if you had rolled... Oh, wow. Play an, play an energy, move a die, showing an action roll face from your reserve to your prep. Do not roll it next turn. That's weird. That's cool, though. I like that ability. When fielded, move up to two of your fielded NPCs to the use pile. For each one moved, you may purchase a basic action die at no cost. When you purchase or use a basic action die, deal one damage to a target opponent or creature. So that's the starter set. This is all the cards available in the starter set. What we are going to do now is I have a couple of booster packs here. We're going to see you're going to see what all is involved in the booster packs. So, we have five booster packs here. That's 10 die. It comes with each with two cards and two die. So, start this right up. Comes with this little card backer to protect the help protect the cards. So, trash that. All right, first pack. Half-Orc Fighter. It has experience, gains an attack and a defense when it has a gear equipped. And then Prismatic Spray, so it's a spell. All characters are treated as if they had one attack and one defense instead of their normal values. Until the end of the field, fielding it. Fielding costs remain unchanged. That's cool. So, it's like deactivates a lot of your heroes or a lot of, I guess, your opponents. That'd be a good way of clearing the board. Pack number two. Uh, 
Pack number two, we have a red dragon. Cool. Another breath weapon. Field red dragon for free if your opponent has two or more NPC characters in the field. That's awesome. And we have a treant. While active, evil characters cost one more to field. All right, on to pack number three. Uh oh, I recognize that die. We may have another red dragon here. Oh, we do! Another red dragon. This is another lesser dragon, so that must be common. I don't see getting two of the common ones or uncommon ones. Yes, it is a common one. So, we got a second red dragon. And then an Umber Hulk. While active, your opponent cannot field NPCs. That's interesting. All right, on to pack four. Is that another red dragon? I think I got another red dragon die, guys. Uh-oh. This one might be worth it, though. Super rare, guys. Super rare. Red dragon, epic dragon. So breath weapon three. Pay three to deal three damage to your opponent. While active once per turn, when you use an action die... You may use a second copy of its effect. That is awesome. So sweet. And I've got three, and this is the best part, is I've got three red dragon die now. that I can, So I can put three red dragon die on that epic card. Then we got a cobalt here. Uh, lesser humanoid, when it fields, spend each of your other cobalts up a level. So that's kind of cool. So it just like buffs up your, your thing. Oh my God. Am I going to get another freaking red dragon card? I did. I got another red dragon card. How did that happen? So I have four. Look, look at this. Four red dragon die. And then something else. Oh, well, it's just another common one. So we've already seen this. And then I got a magic helmet. So this is a gear equip. Equipped character can only be blocked by two or more creatures. So that's it. That's everything that came in there. That's that's uh, twenty or it's ten cards, ten dice, a lot of red dragons. So that's everything that comes in the D and D Dice Masters unboxing, the Battle of Faerun. Dice Master set, the two-player set, and in addition to all these booster packs that I've got here now. That's that's what you get. That's the kind of stuff that you could see in the Dice Master set. So uh, my my initial thoughts are: this is awesome. I like this set. Uh, I liked the Magic or the uh, the Marvel Dice Master set. I thought the game was cool, but I was just not completely into the theme. Um, I'm not a huge X-Men fan and I didn't have a chance to get a lot of the Avengers versus X-Men stuff. I mean, I like some of the Avengers. I like some of the Marvel movies, but I've never really been a big, huge Marvel fan. I, I play a lot of D and D though. If you guys have listened to boards and swords, or if you've heard me on the show, I play a lot of D and D. So this is great. Uh, I think I might be able to actually get my, uh, some of my D and D group to play this. Cause it looks really cool. The artwork's really sweet. I mean, I could probably get a lot of people to play this, Just especially, I mean, not a knock against the original game, but the this set looks awesome. The art's great. I like the fact that there's a big emphasis, apparently, on dragons. I mean, I got four out of five of the booster packs that opens had the same dragon in it. I don't know if that's a wrong sign, but if you give me cards that have dragons on them and you gave me a bunch of them, I'm like, yes, please. So I'm really excited I am more excited to play this than I have 
any other Dice Masters packs I have opened. This makes me really want to play. So um, I highly recommend you go out, especially if you're a big D&D fan. Check out D&D Dice Masters. Go to go to your local shop, your local game store. You can find it on Amazon, all sorts of other places. Thanks, you guys, for watching this video. If you like it, make sure you subscribe and send a comment down below. You can also follow me on Twitter. I'm at Chris the Prof or on Facebook, facebook.com slash Obsessive Comics Disorder. Or check out everything over at OCDcast.com. Thanks, guys, and I will see you guys next time because I've got a Yu-Gi-Oh! Dice Master set that still needs to be open and probably not going to be as big as, as excited for that as I am for this one, but I still can't wait to see what's inside. Until then, I'll see you guys later.